July is going to be hotter than ever because you get up to $50 off any smartphone at Appalachian Wireless. Two-year agreement required. Better service, bigger savings. That's today's Appalachian Wireless and East Kentucky Network Company. It's time now for Mountain Music, being brought to you by the Mountain Arts Center, the main stage of the Country Music Highway. of songs that maybe the subject matter isn't really suited for what little girls maybe ought not talk about. That's why um, our debut album is called Little Girls Acting Like Men. And we're getting ready to do um, another record and we have a kind of a gospel album in the, in the works and we're trying to raise a little bit of money for it. So if you don't have a Little Girls Acting Like Men CD, you can go on our website. It's thelocalhoneys.com. The is very critical. It wasn't until we both got into college, we went to Moorhead State University, and um, we really got into playing regional music, and we take a lot of our influence from people around here, like John Haywood, and Doc Boggs, and Paul David Smith, and Jesse Wells, are, have been really important to us in learning, and learning how to preserve this music, not only learning how to play it, but learning how to preserve it. I don't think there's anywhere, any people in the world that are as proud as Kentuckians. Uh, and we do have a whole lot to be proud of, and um, I, I'm extremely proud of our, of our music and the home music that has, has been instilled here and preserved and created here. I mean, we have chart top, we still have chart topping artists like Chris Stapleton and Sturdle Simpson that are just controlling country music, um, and they're, they're doing a great job of letting our voices be heard through their music. Well, I guess we originally learned our version of um, Come All You Kentucky Gals from one of our favorite musicians. She was a, she was a prominent female in the um, early days of radio. Her name, she went by Cousin Emmy. She's from Barron County, Kentucky, and she could play about 15 different instruments, and she kind of um, made you believe that anything could become an instrument. She'd play the rubber glove, and she could play banjo and fiddle and all these different things, and she was a great singer, and one of the best entertainers that I, that I have seen in early, early recordings and video. There is some video of her.